Back in early 20th century Auckland, people used to leave a bucket of their human waste out in the street each night, ready for collection by a horse-drawn night cart. Luckily for us, we've come a long way since then. These days, our team at Watercare have the responsibility to collect and treat the wastewater produced across the entire Auckland region. Most wastewater comes from toilets, showers and washing machines. The remainder includes organic matter like human waste and food scraps, and things that shouldn't enter our pipes, like cooking fats, wet wipes and stormwater. Wastewater can also include things like household chemicals, paint and pharmaceuticals that can be harmful to our health and to our harbours and waterways. So effective treatment is very important. 24-7, nearly 8,000 kilometres of pipes carry Auckland's wastewater to one of 18 treatment plants throughout the region. Here the wastewater is treated to standards that protect public health, the local environment and our coasts and harbours. It's a responsibility we take extremely seriously. Our smaller wastewater treatment plants serve our rural communities, but most of the wastewater is treated at the Mangari or Rosedale plants. The Mangari Wastewater Treatment Plant is Auckland's largest, and it's one of the most advanced plants in the world. It handles about three quarters of the region's wastewater and liquid trade waste. Here, wastewater is treated in three key steps. First, raw wastewater goes through screens, which removes any solids greater than three millimetres. Large stainless steel rotating drum screens collect the material, feed it up a conveyor, and deposit it in a large bin, ready to be trucked to landfill. We find all sorts of things in the screenings process. Rags, food scraps, wet wipes, toys, jewellery, false teeth, passports, even cash. The liquid then goes through large sedimentation tanks, where sand and grit is removed, and sludge sinks to the bottom and is separated from the liquid. In the secondary stage of treatment, we use aeration and pumps to create an environment to grow special bacteria, which convert and remove contaminants that can be harmful to the environment. An army of different microorganisms live in these giant reactor clarifiers, eat the carbon and reduce the amount of phosphorus and nitrogen in the wastewater. In the aerobic zones, ammonia and organic nitrogen is converted to nitrates. In the anoxic zones, these nitrates are converted to harmless nitrogen gas. This entire process is biological, which means no chemicals are needed. It's also one of the most dangerous parts of the treatment plant. If you fell into the reactor zone, you'd sink to the bottom, even if you're wearing a life jacket. That's because there's so much air in the wastewater, there's no buoyancy. By now, the liquid wastewater is looking really good. But to make sure it's ultra clean, we filter it and disinfect it with ultraviolet light. It travels through channels where it's exposed to powerful UV light, which delivers a 10,000-fold reduction in the number of harmful pathogens and bacteria. This is an extremely effective method of disinfection, which produces no chemical byproducts and is safe for the environment. After filtration and UV disinfection, about 12 hours after the wastewater entered the treatment plant, and after many stringent quality tests every step of the way, the treated wastewater is safely discharged into the Manukau Harbour on the outgoing high tide. But that's not where the story ends. Solids from the treatment process are thickened and digested to make it safe for disposal. During this process, methane biogas is created, which is then fed into engines to generate electricity for the plant. This produces about two thirds of our plant's energy consumption, significantly reducing our operating costs. Treated biosolids at our Mangari plant are put to further good use. They're transported to nearby Pukatutu Island, where they're being used to restore a former quarry. Ultimately, it'll be transformed into a regional park for Aucklanders to enjoy into the future. Auckland is a water city. Our beaches and waterways are our jewels. You can feel confident that we are working to protect and enhance our natural environment by treating wastewater to the highest standard. And in doing so, we're meeting all of our consent obligations, but more importantly, we're protecting the health and well-being of our communities.